sporti tuko katika segment yetu ya kwanza na tulikuwa tunazungumzia uh, the trending topics that have been uh, happening this week from this week uh, tulikuwa tumezungumzia uh, Carabao Cup tumezungumzia Ericsson kurudi tumezungumzia Hurricane na Son record walikuwa wamevunja sasa hii tuko katika uh, Van Dyke mliona Van Dyke ali alipeana ali contribute kwa, kwa hivyo kuna mashindano ya inaitwa Def Olympics hizo mm -hmm. ni uh, mashindano ya viziwi kwa hivyo uh, Van Dyke ali alipeana contribution a substantial contribution an undisclosed substantial contribution katika hiyo team ya Netherlands ya nani kwa sababu walikuwa wamepatikana na financial woes financial woes hizo walikuwa zinawafanya wasiende ku participate katika uh, Olympics hivyo kwa hivyo tunasema uh, kongole sana for, for that act that human act van dijk story nyingine mimi kwanza niulize kama uko unaweza taja coach favorite apart from sa Alex Ferguson uh -huh. coach wako favorite ni unaweza taja nani wale wako size ama hata kama alitoka kama alitoka mtu yote tu mwenye amekuwa coach wa, wa mpira mwenye unaweza sema ni favorite wako mimi naweza sema ni favorite mm. Pep Guardiola Pep Guardiola wewe mm -hmm. Jose Mourinho Jose Mourinho mimi kocha wangu favorite sana ni Jose <laughs> Mourinho tunajua kwa nini kwangu hey. haizi kuwa hata kama na vituko haizi kuwa eh hey, mimi ni vile vituko <laughs> mimi ni vile vituko <laughs> na ile sakazimu yake yule jamaa kuna sakazimu sasa <laughs> Jose Mourinho last week <laughs> ali Jose Mourinho aliangalia game ya Roma versus Spezia <laughs> katika na kutumia iPad mm. katika team bus na game inaendelea kule kwa st yeah. kwa stadium. Unajua alifanya nini? Hiyo mm -hmm. ni kwa sababu ya too much ban suspension ya hiyo previous game versus yeah. Hellas Verona. Ila alipiga boli ya akaleta mtafaruka. Ai ai. Akaleta mtafaruku na 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 nani? Na na na, na makocha. Kwa hivyo mtazamaje tutatafutia next week tutaeka compilation ya hivyo vituko vya Jose Mourinho na unajua huwa yeye anaongea vibaya anaongea vibaya sana yaani yaani nilizoea paka siwezi kasirika tena siku hizi huwa anacheka yule jamaa kona saka zimali ya juu na anakor alafu anakorofisha kuna kuna time alipokuwa Tottenham mm -hmm. kuna kitu kilifanyika kwa uwanja mm -hmm. <laughs> hakuwa ameona sasa yule coach yule assistant coach ndio alikuwa amesimama pale kwa touchline yeah, akarudi Game imeendelea kama dakika tatu hivi. Akarudi akaja akamuelezea kuna kitu fulani fulani na fulani kilikimefanyika. Oh, ile wakaamka. Akaamka. <laughs> wakaamka wakaenda wakasumbua refa. Wakaanza confront nani hapa? Na, eh, na hakuwa ameona bani. Kwa hivyo Jose Mourinho, long may he live. Ile jamaa wa huyo jamaa na drama. Anakumbusha kama wakumbuka coach tulikuwa na yeye pale Manchester United walikuwa naitwa Van Hal. Na mm -hmm. Louis Van Hal alijiangusha yeah. akisema <laughs> sijui ame. ame. Ilikuwa ni time alikuwa anaongelesha anaitwa nani yule referee. Hiyo time alikuwa assistant referee. Mm. Uh, Nimesahau jina lake. Ameongea naye vizuri afu jamaa akaenda chini. Akaenda chini. <laughs> Nashangaza sasa umefanyiwa nini? Wajua ile ile kuna theatrics nyingi sana katika mpira. Lakini Mourinho uh, sasa sio sasa nangojea na kuona ni muda gani ataweza ku coach pale kabla afutwe. Mm -hmm. Maana yule pia huwa akai sana kwa kwa club huwa akai. Anaenda anafanya vizuri yeah, akiona kama afanye vizuri anaanza kukorofishana na watu. Mm -hmm. Ana club yenye alikuwa amezana nayo vizuri sana. Mm -hmm. Na ange uh, mali alikuwa amefit vizuri. Ilikuwa tu Chelsea. Chelsea yeah. Yeah. Na Chelsea pia stint yake ya pili alifutwa. Mm. Lakini alifanya vizuri pia. Alifanya vizuri lakini bado alifanya vizuri zaidi ni pale Real Madrid kumbuka pale ah. lens yake na Pep kumbuka lakini eh la, la, kuna 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 quote fulani niliona ili walikuwa nasema el clasico eh iyo, uo, kabla Mourinho aje mm -hmm. it was just a rivalry mm -hmm. kwa hivyo ni ile watu tu walikuwa na oh, kama yeah. derby tu yeah. kama Manchester derby mm -hmm. lakini alipoingia alifanya paka wachezaji walikuwa wanachukiana ile kuchukiana kabisa hadi Ramos na Messi uh, walikuwa wakienda ama Ramos na Xavi walikuwa wakienda Spain national team mm -hmm. wanaketi meza tofauti kwa tofauti Mwanzo huyu jamaa ameleta chuki. <laughs> <laughs> na akafanya kiasi kiasi akakosana na Cristiano akafutwa. Mm Hebu -hmm. Mourinho yule jamaa yule akibadilisha. Na ukiangalia tabia yake, mm. ukosana na 
player mwenye master eh mko sana tu na star katika timu katimu yeye mko sana Pogba na Lukshaw mpaka sasa hivi bado yazungumzia Lukshaw Lukshaw kuna wakati na improve wrong mara nyingi sana last year alikuja akatoka akasema kwa nini ujamaa bado jina langu liko kwa mdomo wake na ame move on si a move on alikuwa elewi kuna coach alikuwa anasema as in yule Lukshaw akiwa uwanjani ni as in anasema it's Mourinho head in Lukshaw's body Wao wao wasema instructions zote. Anasema yule Lukshu alikuwa anasema ni kama robot. Naezi fanya kitu peke yake. Kwa hivyo anacheza kulingana na na nani na na lakini sasa asipocheza hivyo atatoa. Unachangaa Mourinho sasa ni shida gani na ujamaa? Sijui ataka nini lakini huyo that's Jose Mourinho for you. Story nyingine yenye ilinichekesha. Mnajua huyu fullback Uh, anaitwa Roberto Carlos. Yeah. Ali huyo alireta. Yeah. Hadi uh, Luxo mashabiki wa Manu walikuwa wanamuita Roberto Carlos yeah. uh, <laughs> last season. Sasa huyu jamaa alienda England kuchezea uh, charity. Yeah, uh, kuna timu fulani. Hiyo mm, timu inaitwa inaitwa inaitwaje? Inaitwa Bull in the Burn Football Club <laughs> United. Bull in the Burn United. Sasa hii ni kwa charity ya kuweza kusaidia disadvantaged young people. Kwa hivyo watu wenye wako less privileged katika society young people na ukiangalia katika kule kule England na hizi western countries na the US sana sana wa disadvantaged young people ni wale people of color mm -hmm. watu weusi kwa hivyo alikuwa ameenda kusaidia sasa <coughs> ukicheza kwa hivyo hiyo charity wana hiyo charity hiyo pesa inaenda katika hiyo charity yao yeah, yeah. sasa jamaa kaenda kajua sasa mimi nimekuwa star nimecheza miaka mingi um, someone who is renowned mm -hmm. Aka sasa kuenda akavaa jazi vizuri alafu akaikwa bench. Ali, aliingia kama sabu. <laughs> aliingia kama sabu. Na sasa kafu... katika hii picha alifunga penalti ujue. Alifunga penalti. Sasa penalti. hii picha yenye kuja katika runinga yako. <coughs> unaona venye kijana wangu venye amekasirika. Amekunja uso. Mama <laughs> amepiga luku. Amepiga luku jezi ah, eh, kila kitu. Na amekasirika. <coughs> hii picha. Sijui mbona walimweka sabu. Na unajua sasa kitu cha kuchegesha ni wewe mwenye alimweka sabu mm -hmm. ni software engineer. Ala. Mwenye alitoka tu kazini akaja bado hata kwa ndani akavua vua jamaa alikuwa amevava yeah. akaambiwa tulia <laughs> ngoja kwanza <laughs> tulia hapa <laughs> kwanza Mourinho Mourinho alikuwa na idea mlikuwa mna unasikia lineup imetokea mkienda grow lineup ishache mimi nimekuja kwa bench jamaa ameona amekunja uso hata ni kama nataka kushika mtu wa fumane mangumi ma, ma hapo <laughs> ah, alafu story nyingine sasa yenye eh, imekuwa iki ime, ime happen for quite a while <clears throat> Uh, ii issue ya Russia na Ukraine. Kwa hivyo kumekuwa na more even more and more sanctions. Tumeweza kuona wachezaji makocha wanaweza ku katika team zao kama yule kocha wa Lokomotiv Moscow. Yeah. Aliweza akatoka, akatoka katika hiyo klabu yake akasema he, 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 it doesn't feel right to him aweze ku coach team na few kilometers away eh, yeah, kuna yeah. kuna eh, orders zinapeanwa nchi yake wa, wananchi wenzake wa Ukraine wanaweza kuumizwa. Yeah, Wengine wametoka wameenda kuingia katika wametoka wameingia katika vita. Yeah, tuliweza pia kuona kwamba kuna Russia ile ile walisema wanaitoa katika World Cup, mm. katika World Cup to next year alafu ni busy actually. Yeah, this year in November. Na pia kuna pia zile kesi za ambapo timu za Russia zote zimetolewa katika mm. kwa katika zimebaniwa yeah. na pia zimetolewa katika wale wanacheza wanapenda FIFA wanapenda hizo mechi hizo kwanza nikuulize is that right <coughs> kulingana na wewe hiyo venye wametoa russian teams kwa soka unajua ni kama ni kama naweza ilinganisha na ile kesi yenye tuko nayo Kenya ile yenye tumebaniwa na FIFA mm. kwa hiyo tumebaniwa na FIFA kwa management pale na pia kule pia ni pale the head the president is, the, is, the, is making the orders Putin is making the orders so as a, as a measure to come kum, kum prevent, kum prevent you know, kuna nini i think it's a plan kumfanya yeah. kama venye tunafanyanga economy na like, economic crisis like mm. um, we, we ban everything from coming to our country from Kenya for example attacks Uganda yeah. everything that comes to Kenya everything that goes away from Kenya gets banned now unajua wali ban kitu yote inahusiana na sports mpaka mm -hmm. athletes watu wa rugby everything walibani hapo Russia tu, tu, pia tumeweza kuona uh, Adidas mm -hmm. wenye ni main kit sponsors wa Russia mm -hmm. pia wameweza ku suspend relationship yao na Russia kwa hivyo Russia uh, wana uh, Adidas wamejitoa kwa hivyo itabidi watafute tena njia nyingine 
njia nyingine ya kufanya hivyo mm-hmm. kitu mtu mwenye ameweza kuwa kuwa affected na na hii sanctions ni um, uh, owner wa Chelsea Roman Abramovich, Roman Abramovich. Yeah. huyu jamaa sasa hii ako katika njia kuweza ku ako katika process ya kuweza kuuza Chelsea kuuza club, kwa sababu aki, akizidi kulegea ataweza kupata una sanctions mtu mwenye amepata na sanctions already ni mwenye Everton football club yeah, Usmanov yeah. ni mm. ni Russia pia kwa hivyo yeye ameza assets zake England zimeweza kuwa seized yake yake imeweza kuwa uh, seized na vitu vingine vimeweza kuwa uh, seized kabisa kabisa kwa, kabisa mm-hmm. kwa hivyo uh, Roman alikuwa anaweza ku, ku I think the issue mbona is in a big problem mm-hmm. ni sababu Roman amekuwa an, alikuwa one of the guys who helped out Putin mm-hmm. to alisaidia Putin he was part of the rich guys when alikuwa alisaidia Putin they built to get to the government and to get to everything mm-hmm. so i think that's the reason mbona is under much pressure to live and that's no mana na, na walikuwa wanasema ni, ni rafiki wa ni rafiki personal friend wa Vladimir Putin mm-hmm. wa huyo president wa, wa Russia mm-hmm. Na yeah. tumea, tumeona kwamba kuna watu ambao wamejitolea wanataka kununua Chelsea. Kununua. <laughs> Wametoka so far by jana nilikuwa naangalia hizo reports kumekuwa na 8 8 billionaires. Mm-hmm. 8 billionaires. Kuna lakini... mmoja pia alikuwa Mwarabu pale vile. Sasa so, sijui yeah. Waarabu wameamua sana. Arabu, lakini sasa katika most of them walikuwa ni kulikuwa na there was a Swedish billionaire. Mm-hmm. Ya hilo jina ni gumu kulitamka kwa hivyo staza kulitaja. Mm-hmm. Lakini walikuwa wanasema uh, yeye kulingana naye alikuwa anasema watamua by the end of this week kama wateza kununua kwa sababu alikuwa anasema uh, Abramovich is demanding a lot you, uh, uh, Abramovich anasema anataka anywhere north of 3 billion pounds hizo mm-hmm. hizo zinaelekea lakini mimi nikiangalia hizo hadi kwa sababu huyu jamaa mm-hmm. amekaa ame own Chelsea for the last 19 mm-hmm. years mm-hmm. na mali aliipata na sasa hii mali mali imefikisha huyu jamaa amefanya mimi kwanza kwa usiwezi kudanganya mimi kama rival fan <coughs> nataka wanunulie na mtu mwenye hata eka pesa pale warudi kwa hivyo kulikuwa na vibao vina... ukiangalia na nio uh, wale Newcastle mm. ndio wana wali rent ile Stamford Bridge Newcastle wali rent ah uh-huh. na Chelsea wali rent Stamford Bridge mm. na uh, issue nyingine ni wana, wanaangalia nilikuwa nasoma hizo reports mm-hmm. walikuwa wanasema kuwa uh, Chelsea eh, yule Roman alikuwa anaeka personal pes- uh, nani cash yake ndio waweze ku sustain ile club maana ile Chelsea anadai Chelsea 2 billion pounds mm-hmm. kwa hivyo hizo pesa zilikuwa zinaingiana ku kwa sababu ya stadium yao ni ndogo Uke, ukiangalia eh, kwa hivyo ukiangalia timu kama Southampton ukiangalia timu kama Everton mm-hmm. Aston Villa wote wako na viwanja vikubwa kushinda Stamford Bridge Kwebio. na ukia, ukiangalia kuna moja kati hizo club mm-hmm. ina own hiyo Stamford Bridge mm-hmm. so Chelsea wao inalipa rent inalipa rent Eh yeah, huwa analipa rent kila mwezi. Wewe ndio maana basi hiyo pesa iko juu kwa sababu anaona kuna kuna ile pesa yake Na walisema na yeye mwenyewe alisema pia hiyo pesa ha, he is not calling back his loan. Sasa wa, ha, ni kama anajiregeshia pesa indirectly. You you ana price hiyo hiyo na club yake. Na ukianza kuangalia the owners of Stamford Bridge hmm. walisema Abramovich akisha uza club hmm. watasiz. Watasiz <laughs> kunini pale vile kuchezesha kuchezesha Stamford Bridge. Mm. Sasa so, sio labda owner akikuja mm. waongee tena vizuri. Waongee vizuri. Lakini <laughs> pia kuna fununu kwamba if Abramovich doesn't sell the club England watachukua tu for free. Eh wana wanataka kumsanction. Kum, kum Kwa hivyo ndio maana wako na hiyo haraka ya kuna nini ya. Sasa kum... nilikuwa napiga nilikuwa napiga hesabu it, it, it was a joke. Sasa kama England watachukua kwa hivyo mwenye atakuwa the, the Abramovich ni mkubwa sio. Mm. Sasa Boris Johnson atakuwa the team. E, itakuwa lakini sasa itakuwa nda katika nani yeah. ita kuna venye tatafutiwa board. Lakini ukiangalia pia katika Chelsea board kuna nani English men wengi sana wenye yeah. wanarani hiyo club. Yeye ni kama majority. Sisi ali visa yake ilikuwa banned. Kwa hivyo haizi kuja alimkataza. Kwa hivyo imekuwa ikilala. Na ikilana. kuna time aliomba aseme uh, akuja aje tu mashabiki. Aje eh bado hajapewa hiyo ruhusa. Bado hajapewa ruhusa. Serikali unajua pia kuna Ukiangalia head, head of Russia Olympic Committee mm. jina ni Gumu mm-hmm. nitajiuma ulimi nikisema alisema kwamba hiyo sports yenye walikuwa wameban ni unfair sana kwa sababu wale ambao wamehusika ni tofauti na wale ambao wanakuwa ban ni watu tofauti watu tofauti <laughs> kwa hivyo wanasema at least wange consider wale ma sportsmen waendelee na shughuli nyingine na waendelee na kuna mali nilikuwa nimeona kwamba Putin alisema kwamba 
if Russia w- w- will not participate <laughs> no. in mimi, lakini mimi sidhani hiyo ni official quote kweli imekuwa ikizunguka katika still, mitandao uh, it's official ni niliangalia katika twitter katika twitter niliangalia it's official alisema kama hakuna Russia kwa World Cup there will be no World Cup to talk about na wale kwa kumbuka iko Qatar iko Qatar na sidhani kama Qatar ni bali na Russia sasa si si leo you are jaribu fanya kama ata disrupt hapo waende aseme apachezeki apachezeki we don't know but atu atuoni eh na tuelekea break right na kabla tuelekea break kuna point moja tujaongelea ile ya UEFA Uh, UEFA Champions League kumekuwa na a new uh, UEFA Champions League format yenye yeah. imeza mm-hmm. yenye imeza ku, kutokea kwa ufupi tu uh, wame upgrade kwanza from 32 teams naweza isamarize kama mm-hmm. naweza isamarize yeah, kuna tumia, UEFA yeah. confirms new Champions League format from 2024 2025 kuna nafikiri utatupatia your opinion about it uh, kuna 36 team total include include head up up from 32 teams kuna group stages are replaced by one big t- league, t- league table each team plays 10 games in the first phase five home five away and additional games then kuna the top eight sides in the league phase will qualify automatically for the knockout stage then teams finishing in the 9th to 24th place will compete in a two legged play off to secure their path to the last 16 kwa hivyo hizo hizo ni team gapi extra hiyo 9 to 24 hizo ni game gapi ni 10 those are um, 15 15 teams yeah, so unaambie na ule muda huo uko pale kwa kucheza UEFA mm-hmm. kitambo wafikie final si hizi mechi zitakuwa zimezidi sana alafu sasa ukumbuke kuna EPL kuna mm-hmm. zile yeah. league zingine kuna mechi zingine kwa hivyo i think ama hii ni super league ona ileta tofauti sana uje tukizungumzia mambo na super league uliona kulikuwa na Huyo huyo president wa Real Madrid mm-hmm. alikuwa anasema ile Super League bado haijakulikuwa bado yeye alisema hajaiua hajaiua bado yeah. anaendeleza nimeona lakini sasa British clubs wamesema kuwa hao hawana any intent I think mm. this is a format kuleta Super League it's Hii a, it's a, it's kwa sababu ukiangalia ile time ya kwanza ilitokea Super League yeah. ilikuwa na format kama hiyo Ah mimi naona hii ni njia ya UEFA kujaribu ku cup Super League isiingie. Alafu pia kulikuwa na coach nyingine ilikuwa inasema eh, the Super League needs English clubs more than English clubs need the Super League. Lakini ukiangalia in terms of popularity ni EPL ndio imeshikilia. Alafu ukiweza kuangalia Super League sasa ilikuwa na include club kubwa kubwa peke yake. Mm. Na ukiangalia sasa... sasa Germany hawako, mm. uh, France hawako. Kwa hivyo zimebaki tu ba- Barcelona, Real Madrid, Atletico, Juventus yeah. na teams za Italy. I think in my personal opinion I think hiyo Super League it's a combination of combine. Mm. They have combined the efforts kwa sababu ukiangalia katika mechi ona ona money sign, ona mm. monetary sign. Ukiangalia hii is the format and stuff there are games, small games meaning more money. Mm-hmm. Kwa hivyo it's a monetary it's a monetary advantage but still ukiangalia pia wachezaji wataumia. Kwa sababu uko na mechi kama tano hii. Yeah. Yeah. Na kwanza yeah. kumbuke kuna klabu haina yeah. wachezaji kama wa Man City. Yeah. Ojo Man City iko kama na na, na, yeah. eh, na pia Manchester United yeah. ama, lakini, lakini kuna klabu kama Arsenal. Yeah. Ona Arsenal ona wana... striker wako na striker mmoja na Batista. Kwa hivyo itabidi basi pia they make more signings, mm-hmm. they get academy players. Yes, an advantage pia kuna exposure mm-hmm. for Na ukizungumzia Arsenal, <laughs> ukisema wa make more signings, yeah. sasa hizo walitoa uh, kuna taarifa walitoa wakasema wame make loss ya 100 million pounds. Nile, nileza kuiona hiyo ni alafu alikuwa anasema most of it came during the covid period, hiyo uh-huh. time ya lockdown. Uh-huh. Uh, kwa hivyo uh, mtazamaji kama unajiunga na sisi unatazama mwanga wa sporti kumbuka unaweza ku interact na sisi through our SMS number 23595 that's 23595 our hotline number unaweza tuma ujumbe unaweza piga ukuweza wasiliana na sisi ni 0724121812 0724 1218 na pia katika wa social media handles katika Dysac TV pale Instagram pale Facebook pia tuko live pale Facebook na pia waingia pale YouTube kama umepitwa na show yetu umepitwa na segment yetu yetu ya kwanza utaingia tu pale YouTube utapata segment zetu zote wakati show ikiisha hivi tuweka segment hiyo hapo hapo na utajia, utaji utatazama utajionea mengi utajionea yale yanayoendelea pale Dysac kuna recap kuna the deep corner kuna kuna show mingi mingi yani na kuna mazuri umeendelea pale YouTube kwa hivyo kimbia pale YouTube subscribe na turn on notifications na pia watch watch kuongeza watch time mm. okay. na kabla pia tuende, tuende, tuende pale break nilikuwa nataka ku brief kidogo local sports mm-hmm. au ukiweza kuangalia Kenya sasa hii itakuwa ina host rugby mm-hmm. for the third time in a row ile under 20s uh, ukiweza kuangalia uh, ziko timu ambazo ukiinclude kuna Kenya Zambia Tunisia Senegal Namibia Ivory Coast Zimbabwe na Madagascar wote wamekuwa name ndio watakuwa wanacheza hiyo competition ambayo kumbuka Kenya ilikuwa imehost 
under 20 ilikuwa 2019 2021 na saini 2022 itakuwa ina host pale vile alafu ukaweza kuangalia pia Eld Kipchoge uh, on Sunday atakuwa yuko kwenye Olympics ile ya championship kule Tokyo na akiweza kushinda hii championship kumbuka atakuwa ameshinda major zile major zingine ameshinda ameshinda Berlin Chicago uh, alafu na sahi atakuwa anangoja Tokyo hiyo Boston na New York City akishinda hizo zote atakuwa ameshinda mm. major na hiyo itakuwa ni world record ambayo itakuwa haijawahi wekwa na mtu mwingine pale vile uh, na tukaweza kuangalia kuna wakenya wanne ambao wamebadilisha nationality watakuwa naenda kukimbilia inchi za kigeni kama gani <laughs> uh, kuna Nora Geruto Daisy Chepkemei Shadrack Koech na Caroline Chepkoech wameenda wali switch wakaenda inaitwa sijui si jina lilikuwa jina gumu sana uh, sikuweza kulipata pale vile raisi na haikuwa <coughs> Sweden walikuwa wameenda nitalitafuta alafu nitawaambia alafu takuwa tunao Bona nadhani hiyo ni kwa sababu ya pesa lakini imekuwa imekuwa ki happen kwa sababu kiana wa wachezaji wanaenda Olympics pale United States alafu mwisho mwisho wasikia wachezaji wanaacho huko anabaki huko na anachenja nationality lakini ni njia ya pesa kuna ah yes yeah, sawa sawa kwa hivyo uh, mtazamaji wangu tukirudi tunarudi na segment 2 ya videos na highlights everything uh, we recap all the games that have been uh, most of the games zenye zimechezwa last week uh, pia tutakuwa tunaonyesha uh, prediction table yetu kwa hivyo usiende mbali usibanduke katika runinga yako we'll be back after the break <laughs>